Hey, we gonna hit you with the bars real quick. Hey, quarantine light, but my flow still sick. If I had a mate, I have a make you lemonade, and I don't need to get laid, so don't be afraid. Girl, I get paid, but I'm in pain. Kinda like Wayne, first name Bruce. Where the hell's I made with a goddamn juice? Every day's the same, deja vu. Bring in the wine, yeah, bring in the zan. Pump up my songs, yeah, let's do a dance. You the kind of girl that made me cancel my plans. You the only girl I let a pay for only fans. We're just going to keep blasting through episodes non-stop. Um, you know what's going on? I feel like one of my headlights is out. Let me check up on that, actually. Oh, fucking hit my door. Fucking hit my door on the wall. Hold on. Start the podcast, huh? Start the podcast and immediately when I started it, I've got fucking shit to do. Dude, I replaced one headlight and now it looks like the other one is out. Fucking bullshit here. Let me see. Uh, no, they look the same. They look the same. It doesn't look like anything's fucking messed up here. So I don't know what it could be. It's a beautiful day here in California. Freezing temperatures. My car says it's 55 degrees. That is a world record. I don't think it's ever been 55 degrees ever in the year 2024. But what do we know? Now that I'm... Now that I know, now that I'm enlightened, and I know about, you know, the dinosaurs and evolution and the world every year oh this is the hottest record it's 110 degrees shut the fuck up it was probably a thousand degrees at one point in time you know oh oh this is the coldest it's ever gonna be it's like it was for millions of years thousands of years it was like negative degrees. The whole world froze over. The ocean froze. Are we talking Pangea numbers? I guess Pangea is still also allegedly a theory. It's all theories. What if dinosaurs aren't even like 100 million years old? They're really just like 3,000 years old. I think the next thing that takes over after humans is going to be some form of, like, insect. It's going to be, like, a huge insect. That's what it's going to be. <clears throat> so we're getting coffee. We're going to the world-famous Starbucks. $500,000 is what I have collected um, the past couple of days. And I here I am going to Starbucks because I have a gift card because I'll tell you I'll tell you this spending money prevents you from being a millionaire it's one of the biggest things about being a millionaire what's going through my mind. I've got a lot going through my mind. It's just that it's not going through my mouth with speaking on things. Uh, uh, uh. Man, I fucking rolled my ankle yesterday skating after recording my um, my uh, 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 last podcast and I went to go skate and I rolled my ankle pretty fucking bad. Like, I I wish I got it on record so I could, like, see it. Because it looked... I feel like it looked bad, but it didn't feel as bad as it looked. As opposed to the the last injury I had over two weeks ago that did not look that bad, but it hurt way more. Um, it's a little... Uh, 
it's it's not that bad. I rolled my fucking ankle though, and I I feel it a little bit, but it's not like I'm gonna die. Um, so I'm curious, how many days is it gonna take? I rolled my ankle so bad one time that it took me like fucking months. It took me like seven months to really feel okay about it. We're in line here at the world famous Starbucks. Look at all these Jew supporters. This lady is, well, is this racist? Is this racist? This lady um, has go getter, like a, a custom license plate that says go getter. And it says Walnut Creek here, which is a very nice area. And so the first thing that, and she's driving like a, you know, it looks like an expensive car. I don't, I don't know. And, um, first thing that comes to my mind, oh, Jew, Pro- probably a Jew. But then the person who, who gets out, it's a black lady wearing scrubs. I was like, never mind. Complete opposite of a Jew, real hard worker here. You know, not a business lady. She's just here getting it. Yeah, she looked like, oh, she looked like she got an attitude too. That's the thing. I don't know. She's got that look in her eyes like, so what? I'm supporting the Jews. I need my caffeine. People are fucking need their IV drips. She got an attitude. That's all right. I respect it. She's a she's a uh, medical medical uh, 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 provider. She's a medical hero. She probably. I wonder how many people quit their fucking their their medic job. Their 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 healthcare job because of COVID. Like, it was just too much stress. Or imagine getting out of, like, you do fucking 17 years, I think, whatever the minimum is to become a nurse. You do, you do, you do 30 years in nursing school. And then when you finally, you know, you graduated high school in 1990. And then you go to fucking nursing school until, you know, 20, 2019. And it's finally time for you to put the fucking scrubs on and actually be on the front lines and, you know do what what god intended you to do do what you have been studying for 30 years and then covid happens there's there's got to be somebody in the medical field who fucking killed themselves right there's got to be at least three people who were like "I, i dedicated my whole life to this and and now we and now we don't know I feel like a medical person who killed themselves, they'd probably just take a lot of medicine or something. What if in, like, video games, when you do, like, health, there's, like, health packets and stuff like that, you just, you've got a full bar of health, and then you just keep doing it, and that's how you die, you fucking overdose. They're probably gonna have that in GTA 6. Hey, what do you guys think is gonna go um, on with this Miami shit? What's what's your guys' opinion? I really don't know. People talking about aliens and shit. And they're trying to say it's like a mass psyops. It's like another big experiment or whatever, you know. I don't know what to think, but I am curious on it. I don't know what to think. It reminds me of the lady who's like, that motherfucker is not real on the plane. And we just kind of, you know. There's so much stuff going on that it gets buried. That we don't really know. That motherfucker is not real. And that was a that was, you know, that was front headlines for like three days. And that's that's you know, that's big numbers. And and then I heard like maybe I don't know, like a fucking year after it happened. Like a year after the lady was all, that motherfucker is not real. She she apparently was like, yeah, it's not, he, he's real. We just had a dispute or something like that. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to look for a curb that I can skate so I don't get in all these pro skaters' ways. Come 
Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. We'll be right with you. No problem. That motherfucker is not real. <sighs> um. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. Thank you for your patience. Welcome and get started for you today. Hi, can I just get a uh, um a grande peppermint mocha, please, and um a grilled cheese? Did you want the peppermint mocha hot or ice? A hot, please. And did you want any whipped cream? No, thank you. Right, it's almost today is twelve ninety. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so I've got two gift cards here. One of them has um one of them has uh 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 two dollars on it, so I wanna drain this and then get the other one going. Fuck, which one is it? Fuck. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one should have like two dollars on it and then the other ones. Yeah. Dude, I think the other day, or like a, the other week or so, I was talking about, uh, uh, how many weeks ago? Maybe it was like a month ago or something like that. I went to the skate park and I saw some, some lady skating and she was shredding it. And I was all like talking about, man, like, not to be sexist, but they're so good, and blah, blah, blah. But then I saw them again yesterday and I was like, you know what? That's wrong of me to think that this person's probably here all the fucking time. You know, they're part of the skate gang. Skate gang, dude. Yeah. And I saw this other guy yesterday. Um, For the first time, I think I remember seeing him at the skate park like a year ago. Um, Before I just, you know took a break and didn't really skateboard as much was it a year ago it might have been over a year ago actually it might have been over a year ago i don't know and um i remember he was really getting mad because i was like in his way with all the other white belts of skating but then i saw him again today i was like these motherfuckers are dedicated they are you know and they were they were doing all these all the grind tricks everything that i wanted to do And maybe there's like, you know, 5% of me that's jealous, but the rest of me, the 95% of common sense, like, dude, these people are here all the time. They put in that fucking work and I'm appreciating it. This is, this is art, you know, but I, I would like, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to fucking grind like these pros, you know, I don't want to be doing no crazy shit, jumping off ramps and doing backflips off the vert and fucking, you know, going too fast. I just want to slowly get up the thing real, real nice, aim my fucking trucks on it. And uh, that's grinding. I can't ollie up the fucking box. So I'm trying slappy grind. So because what I want to grind, whatever it takes, I want to grind. And so, yeah, but yesterday, besides everything, besides the people watching, I personally made some progress. I finally got some fucking slides, dude. And I fucking, I, I, I did the same way that like two weeks ago where I hurt myself and, um, I conquered it. I, I, you know, at first I didn't want to do the move anymore because it was like, I fucked myself up and people don't like to, okay. So let me explain this. Um, I was doing a front side grind, front side grind, which most people think is uh, harder than doing a backside grind. And, um, you know, I hurt myself doing the front side. And then that's when I was like, maybe that's why people don't like doing it. But because I felt, but man, I just went with my instincts with my gut and I did it again. And it felt good to actually get some fucking sliding going on. You know, I waxed up the curb. Because the rain messed it up. And I could tell the difference between, you know, the wax job that I did on a little section of this curb, painted curb. 
But like, you know, the confusing thing is like, you know, front side grinding is basically the opposite front side, just regular when you do the flip. So like backside 180s are a lot easier for me than front side 180s, even though it's the opposite. Most people think, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but um, I do things the opposite way. It's weird, man. It's weird. I skate regular. That's the stance that I'm in. And it's like, it's like I'm right-handed, but I'm doing a left-handed thing. I don't know. I'm like third in line here at Starbucks. Very excited. Very excited. How much time have we done? 15 minutes. All right, that's my time. (laughs) All right, how's everybody doing today? All right, that's my time. (laughs) What is the deal with Starbucks? Why does why does Starbucks uh why the Starbucks uh, why why does Starbucks support the Jews? Why? Why who invent who invented Starbucks? Starbucks has been I don't even remember when it's been a new thing. It's just They just came out of nowhere. What is the deal? What is the deal with Starbucks gift cards? Bro, I got a $30, I think $30 or $20 Target gift card. And I don't know what to buy, man. I don't know what to spend with it. What is the deal with Target? It's basically Walmart with just different settings. What is the deal? Who's who's funding this? All right, that's my time. I hope we learned something today. Typical open micer uh, who's only been doing comedy for like a week, kind of, it sounds a little bit like this. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Um, that's great. I'm doing great. I'm, uh, I'm going through a breakup and uh, it sucks, you know? I don't understand why anybody would break up with me. I just made $500,000 off my podcast and, uh, and uh, yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Any couples in here tonight? Any couples? Yeah, where's the couples at? Fuck you. Fuck you because I am not a couple. I am here doing stand-up. My uh, my ex is getting banged. My ex is getting banged by a black Jew. And so uh, I thought, you know, I thought that was funny. I thought I'd come up here and just say, you know, um, talk about, uh, talk about, You don't want to talk about complainers. My ex-girlfriend's new guy. He's at all of the rallies, you know? He's at all. I would never go to a fucking rally, man. I'd never go to a rally. i make too much money to go to a rally. It's cold. It's cold in those rallies, you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, that's my time. You guys have a good evening. Oh, give it up. I knocked out many. This is taking longer than I thought. It's been uh, 16 minutes. Make it snappy. Let's drink some water before I fuck myself up with this coffee. Really got to take care of this car, dude. It's an antique now, you know? The Challenger is an antique. I just seen this lady grab her coffee. What's taking so long? She waiting on a sandwich or something, huh? She waiting on that world famous grilled cheese. Three people died in order for me to have this fucking grilled cheese.
Bro, let's go. Um, I didn't get a straw. Shut the fuck up. Waterfall it, you bitch. Um, excuse me. Oh, she got a second drink. That better be for her boyfriend. It's an old lady. Husband, whatever. Old people can have boyfriends. Hello. It's okay. Um, I think this one has $2 on it. And can I put the rest on this one? Alright. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? There's a no thank you button. Do you want your... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was another debit card. <laughs> I didn't want to open the car, but I'll be right with you. Thank you. You have $5.35 cool. for this one? Thanks. Excuse me. Five dollars left on the floor. Put this away. You Thank day. you. You too. Take care. Thank you. Hell yeah. I like how she apologized for the wait. She knew I was pissed off. Let's take that first sip. What you know about that first sip? Mm. Oh yeah. Now, I could tell there's no whipped cream in this. All right, we're going to drink this Starbucks. We're going to do some fucking paperwork and then we're going to fucking take a walk and then we're going to fucking walk the dog and then maybe we'll get some fucking skating in, huh? Dude, I need a curb. I need a curb to... Ooh, this? That looks like a good curb right there, actually, you ask me. I want like a nice little manual pad. I don't know where I could find me a, a nice little manual pad. I'm looking for a manual pad, I say. Ooh, can that be a manual pad? I need a manual pad, man. Somewhere, somewhere near my house. Let's go. Six kicking. You hear that V6? That's pure American muscle right there. That's lean shit right there, boy. You can't tell me nothing, bruh. Tesla can't do that. All 310 horsepower. I have more than the stock horsepower that the that they allot you because uh because I did some extra shit to my car. I made it special. I took some shit off of it. Bro, yesterday my my girl saw my car and was like, "Whose hair is this? There's a blonde hair in it." And I pull it I'm like, "Bitch, this is weed. This is hay. This is, you know, this is weed." It's like a long straw-y thing. I'm like, this is not air. And she fell for it, bro. I don't want her knowing about Samantha. I gotta tell Samantha she gotta put more conditioner in her hair when she's sucking my dick. Cause her shit. My girl gonna find out. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the way it took. It was 15 minutes. It's not. It's not that. It's not her fault. I was complaining though. She probably felt my energy. Who gives a shit? This girl. Let's try this girl. Please. Let's not be fake. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. 
All right, y'all. I'm going to go, but I'll walk into my office. So see y'all later. Bye. Because they don't feel like they're included. A pie, a sweet potato pie. Oh, they'd love to have a pie. But, you know, people of color in America generally aren't allowed to bake. What the hell are these people thinking? We need to have a final referendum on, do you think you fix racism with more racism? God, that's such a great idea. Yeah, let's stick it on a ballot in November. Surely we can get that done, huh? Um, hey. But I don't want to get hung up on that because it makes people mad. Yes? I was ill yesterday. Well, I'm ill today, but I was too ill to be here yesterday. What was uh, what was your conversation about um, Trump and uh, Christie um, and and you know the the debate between DeSantis and Haley? What was your what was your couple headline takeaway on that? Uh, oh, to summarize, uh, DeSantis and Haley uh, got together on a stage, took hatchets to each other, and, and and wounded each other terribly, and did nobody any good on any level. Yeah, I watched some of that, man. That was hard. That was hard to watch. Even with just two people on the stage, there was as much talking over each other as when they had eight people on the stage. And it, it's hard to understand the point. One of my other takes was that in a primary, I don't think you're doing yourself any good to go negative. Certainly heavily negative. I mean, so, okay, so you just uh, cut the other person off on their knees. At, to their knees. At their knees. Whatever that expression is. At From their knees. Um, under right their knees, to toward their knees, upon yeah. their knees. Um, <laughs> but what what good have you done in a multi-person primary? And though it was only two uh, Hanyaks on the stage, uh, you know, Trump's still in there. It's a three-person race. I don't think you do yourself good by going negative in a primary the way you might in a general when it's a binary choice. Because, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong or if you see it differently, in a primary, people are wanting that feeling of, that's my guy. That's my girl. That's that's the person who sounds like the things I care about, and I think they're good enough to get it done. Yeah, well, it, I think it's that... not a process of winnowing out who's the least crappy, or it shouldn't be. Well, and I think the key word in what you said there is the word feeling. I think it's way, 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 way more about I just kind of like their style than any of that individual minutia, ticky tack stuff that they bring up about each other. I mean, oh, yeah. That, that's not the stuff that makes up. Oh, so three years ago, you voted yes on a portion of a piece of legislation that would... That's not the stuff that makes any difference to people that are tuning into these things. It's just the overall feeling of, I like this person, I don't like this person, I think this person's a fighter, I think this person's dumb, whatever. I think No, 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 it's about you said something positive about Anthony Fauci in March of 2020, didn't right, you? Right, right. Oh, Lord. And then we on the other... beat the senile old fart. Would you quit with this stuff? And on the other end, which, of course, I uh, cleverly asked Joe's opinion so that I could just give mine. Um, <laughs> uh, I thought Trump looked fantastic on his thing. Uh, by Trump standards, I mean, for what he is, I thought he was as good as he ever is. I think fantastic's a little fanboy but What an easy fucking uh, job, huh? It, Get on the fucking radio and talk about your opinions like while you stand from the sidelines. Yeah, it's so easy, huh? Oh, oh, they need to do this. The lizard people need to do that. So, it's so easy. So easy to just stand from the side and, and be a commentator. You know? Everybody's talking about fucking Joe Coy and what he said about the uh, 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 the, the, the Golden Globes. First of all, who gives a fuck? Who's watching? You're a loser in the first place watching the Golden Globes, you fucking consumer. Nobody gives a shit. But then I, my parents asked me about it, and then I said, who cares? And they said, Taylor Swift probably does. And I, and I go, oh, he probably made a joke about Taylor Swift. Let's check it out. So I checked it out. And I thought it was whatever. It's hard for me to critique comedy at this point because nobody's fucking perfect. And it's comedy is comedy. It's subjective. You like what you like. It's hard. It's, a, it's like being a fucking politician. Being a comedian is like being a politician. You have to, you know, to be successful in politics or comedy, you kind of have to pander or cater to a certain demographic of what's hot. That's why comedians always want to, like, give their fucking two cents on what's going on in pop culture, in the politics or whatever, something that people can relate to, like these fucking old farts over here. The liberals, the liberals are ruining everything. Or you could be a liberal and be like, 
God, why can't they just understand that, you know, trans is a, is a whole nother gender? Worry about your fucking self, dude. So I checked it out. I checked out the, the fucking Joe Coy. I saw him throw a little bit of a tantrum like, I got the gig 10 days ago. What do you expect? A perfect monologue? God. And that's a guy who's been in a Jewish tunnel. That's a guy who is just, uh, he is lost in the sauce. That's my opinion. That's what I want to say. But you scroll down. Everybody's got a comment. Everybody's got something to say. I saw a comment. In comedy, you never. Who the fuck are you? Steve Aaron 678 with no videos talking to him. What do you know about what you're not and what you're supposed to and not do in comedy? I haven't seen you at the open mics. I haven't seen you try to do the same joke for five years. So you're not entitled because comedians, real comedians who do the same fucking joke it clearly isn't funny to them anymore. It was probably funny to them at one point in their life. And maybe it was never even funny. Maybe they just said something. They were just talking and then they heard a big, ah, ha, 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 in their life. And they go, oh, oh, they like it. They like, I got to work on it. They like it. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep working on my craft, my craft on working on my jokes. Oh, 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 they, oh, they, oh. Oh, oh, it's another, it's another way to say faggot. Oh, they like it. They like it when I call myself a faggot. There's two other people that call themselves a faggot and I'm the guy who calls themselves a faggot. So I'm going to be the faggot. I'm going to, I'm going to be the comedian who calls themselves a faggot the best way. Because I get butt hurt when somebody else calls themselves a faggot. Oh no. This guy can't be calling himself a faggot. I'm the one who calls themselves a faggot. Not around here. Not around these parts, buddy. Oh, the crowd likes it when I call myself a faggot. We got to do some more faggot material. Hey, my name's Marconi. I'm a faggot. <laughs> Secondly, there are some gals in my neighborhood who are kind and decent people who've decided they're going to feed and tend to feral cats right now they have them spayed and or neutered wow oh, this they're is spayed. interesting right here wow but then they feed them and make sure they're medicated and the rest of it so they can go on killing birds by the hundreds and the the tensions are brewing the war of the cats may soon be erupting in my hood i'll, I'll tell you about how, it later. how do they how do they catch what a these great girls? job what a great job. What a great thing to do for a living. Talk into a microphone and broadcast it through the radio waves for everybody to listen to. Oh, this guy's got fucking cats in his neighborhood. Wow, how interesting. These goddamn liberals feeding the fucking cats. We can't do that anymore, man. The fucking cats. They're very nice human beings, but they're liberals. They're, they're feeding the feral cats. Who gives a shit? I gotta go. I'll see y'all later.
Yeah.